Hello everybody and welcome back to Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. I hope that you are incredibly well today guys, I hope you are well. Um, today we are going to be playing through yet another day here in the restaurant. And as you all know, this is my second playthrough. So I've already been through all of this before. Um, but to be honest with you, every time you play it feels brand new. Uh, because the recipes. The recipes are so unique, they are so much fun, and there's a lot to do, there's a lot to remember. My kitchen is much bigger than the one which I have on my PlayStation. Um, I might need to do some moving around, so please Chef, forgive me. I've delivered your order. Please forgive me if I don't have everything, or I don't know where everything is. Just give me a moment to adjust. Um, I was playing my PlayStation version just for fun the other day. And I was like, oh, right, where is everything? <laughs> okay, so we got four things on the menu today. We are going to do some prepping. I think the prep work I'm going to do, though, let's have a look. Hmm... I think we could get the peppercorn sauce and the spaghetti done. So let's take that. Oh yeah, just the basil, isn't it? Just go for basil. Ingredients. Such a basic recipe. Um, so let's grate the cheese up. Take that and we're going to make some sauce right now so first things first let's uh, make sure we take all of the seasoning not just some and let's get to the saucepan let's give this a good little season I'm guessing pepper yep Okay, lovely. Now we're going to add the water and put the lid on top. And leave it alone for a little bit. Um, let's make the spaghetti and put it on the heater for later. This should require some salt. So let's pop on... Let that bubble up a little bit, hang on. Excellent, let's remove the lid for this last part of the process. This is now ready, so let's start the, the meal. Get that pepper off. Sorry, salt. I'm missing a lot of salt, so that'll be at least two. Not enough salt, a little bit more. Excellent. Let's leave that to do its thing. And I think we could probably put the basil back, if I'm honest with you. I think I ended up taking that when I didn't need to. I will make some more spaghetti. Excellent. Okay, we're going to take the whole saucepan. Come on, why aren't you let me take the whole saucepan? There we go. Okay, wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, so we only have the one heater at the moment. And I don't think we have enough money to buy any more. Let me just go check. Where's our computer? Uh, profile. No, we've only got 266, and I think heating plates, yeah. So we need 300 for another one of those. So we are limited then what we can do. So we've got one dish prepared there. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to pop this back. 
because what we can do is prep some other food. Unfortunately, we can't do the green beans because uh, we're going to need we, we need a warming plate for that. But we can get um, let's just make a load of caprese salads. I think that's the best we can do right now under circumstance. Um, okay, I'll make three. Which means I'm... Oh, I, I do not recall. I do not recall if the balsamic sauce makes multiple amounts. I can't remember. Whether it's just the one dish or there's multiple. That's what I just do not remember. Okay, so while that's going on, we will need to come back and check on it. But let's cut up the mozzarella. Sounds like someone's at the front door that we need to go and sweep to as well. Just go and stir this up. I'll go speak to them in a bit. I just want to focus on the dish at hand. Hey, how's everything? Okay, good. All right, let's check this now. Give it another stir. Right, after that, we're going to be preparing it over there. Oh, no, that's on my other one. Got everything we need, have we? Um, over here. <laughs> okay, so it does only give us one, so we are going to make have to make balsamic cream a few times over. And then we're just going to season. Not enough salt. Let's try again. Perfect. Fantastic. Now let's put oil on. Take it. And pop that in the fridge for later. That is a dish nearly ready to be served. Um, okay, we've got two people that want to speak to us now. But they're going to have to wait because we are on a bit of a mission to get at least a couple of these, a couple more caprese with basil done. So I'm just going to grab another one of these for the hob. Today is going to be awesome. And we are going to grab some more balsamic and some more sugar. We're going to put this on and in. Same with this one. In it goes. We'll just keep an eye on it so we don't need stirring. Thankfully there's four of those peppercorn cheeses so we won't need to cook too much of more of that. The only thing we will need to cook more of is the spaghetti. So, we do need to be aware of that. Okay, fantastic. Let's uh, go stir this one. Excellent. Whilst that's, that's cooking, everything okay. let's actually have a, a chat with you. Let's talk. Our front of house staff can handle things themselves now, which is great. But with all these new customers, you're going to need someone to help with the cooking. So, I'll be your sous chef. It'll be like in culinary school. Excellent. So, thankfully, I know... All about that. 
we now have somebody helping us. And that can be a blessing or a curse. <laughs> When they start being able to make the whole dishes, it becomes very interesting. So much easier. Okay, let's get to it. Before we do that, let's place some salt on. Excellent. Put that balsamic down. And it's done. Next, one more portion. Oh, no. Nearly forgot to season. Excellent. You. Do we have everything for this evening? No, we don't. We really, really don't. Um, mm, 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 mm. Right, let's go to speak to this dude. Hey, buddy, old pal, what can I help you with? Emergency exit working properly. Hygiene standards being followed. The mayor will be pleased. Hello, I am Jean. I work at City Hall and we're thrilled that you took over the place. I was delighted when the mayor approved your file. You were my favourite candidate. Welcome to our wonderful community. We hope you love it here. Good luck. Okay, so you have met Jean, an employee at City Hall, and whose responsibilities include your restaurant. He works closely with the mayor and will often ask you to participate in various events being organised by the city. Which is pretty cool. Let's go chat again with Kasim. Apparently he wants to talk to us again. Need help? You know, I haven't had a chance to create my own recipes since culinary school. With the restaurant doing so well, I was wondering if now would be a good time to try it again. Maybe a recipe based on seafood. I've always loved cooking with that. But I need to brush up on the basics by doing the restaurant's fish dishes. What do you think? He can put all the fish. I'm absolutely fine with him cooking all the fish. Um, that being said, do we want to prep any? So we've got the caprese prepped. Done nothing with the steak and shallots. It might be worth us just cutting up few of these so that we have them to hand so cut some french fries and dice the schlots okay good right I don't want to take all, I want to place all. We could cut a couple of steaks. I that would save us some time. Service. Our customers would be blown away. Let's cut a couple of steaks. So all we need to do then is cook. There's nothing else that we have to do. Okay, so that's us caprese salad and the steak dishes ready. Uh, the one that's making me nervous is... Oh no, we've, we've done quite well on the pasta dish. He's going to need to focus on salt. Right. The only way to do well is to crack on. 
that's what we're going to do. Let's skip time, open those doors, and see what we achieve today. What task can I help you with? Okay, so we're going to give him orders. We're going to let him focus. Okay, so we can't do anything else yet. Just Working with that ingredient is so fun. Just okay. that. Oh, that makes me nervous. That makes me extremely nervous. That means we've got to cook everything. Okay, I'm going to start with the green beans. need I'm just gonna grab the salt and pepper so I have it to hand let's get started okay so dish number one LS. Pressing LS. There we go. Do you need my help for anything? Not really, because you can't do that much at the moment, right? That's the problem. So we are going to focus on this. We're going to need our sauce. Doing fine. Have we? Oh, oh, I've picked up the wrong pan, guys. That is not a good start. I need the saute pan. We're going to take this, pop it up here. Um, I'm just going to get Kasim to focus on... What else could he do? Can you cook pasta yet? No. I love cooking that. I'll just let right him away. cut that. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's put the spaghetti in. Give it a little bit of a stir and then we'll get the basil for top of the caprese. I don't think that needs... Yeah, it doesn't need that thing. That's good. Okay, we'll serve that dish. Serving now. Let's go back over to our spaghetti. It should nearly be done. Let's just give it one last quick stir. And straight to serve. I'll serve that right now. Excellent. Okay. So whilst we are waiting, well done, Chef. Nice let's work. focus on getting this flowered a couple of these flowered um let's grab the flower okay and also, let's get some more spaghetti on the go. I 
I'm available if you need anything. Okay, so we got a little bit of everything going on now. So spaghetti's been cooked, so that's good. So we'll get our spaghetti dish done first. And then we'll move on to soul. So as soon as we get to the second stage, we can put the spaghetti in. Excellent. Okay, Seems right, let's get, be working on something. let's get that out of the help. way. And now let's move on to the next stage of the soul dish. We're going to need oil and butter. Butter, oil. And get started that is on its way let's just give this a stir it's gonna need it okay fantastic let's add the butter in here wonderful okay i'm gonna take the pan right off of here um i'm gonna place over here Grab the dish. Come on. Ah, don't do this to me. Thank you very much. I need a challenge. And we're gonna pop this on the heat lamp for a second whilst we focus on this. Okay, that is still doing absolutely fine. So for the meantime, let's get the caprese out the way and served. I'll take the dish. Pop it over here. Actually, it's a cool, it's a cool dish, so we can't pop it there. This is super close to being done. So we'll take that with some beans. I don't have anything to do. And we'll take this. And let's get plating I'm going to serve that dish I'm also going to serve that dish and whilst he is working on passing those out we are going to get this one ready nice plating chef makes you want to eat it Okay. He can come back and grab that one. In the meantime, let's get him you know I love prepping mucking fish. around with more of that because that will help him gain more experience. On its way. Another exhausting service, but it's a good kind of exhausting. Good. Did it? Only two tables. The one thing that I'm excited for that should oh actually we've done a couple of things here as well. That'll give us now enough money to buy this bad boy. Just something that we desperately need. Can't put it in yet. Okay, 
let's not skip to the next day. We are going to stay on. Staff are leaving and we are going to focus on a little bit of cooking. So we've got new recipes to learn, but first I'm just going to check that none of these can be upgraded. So. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, so let's go and learn a couple of new recipes. So these are things which he needs to learn um, as part of his progress. For now, that fireside soups. Ooh. You're going to learn the meatballs. Okay, so let's go over here, back to the table of contents, and we are going to pin the meatballs because we're going to go and learn this now. Okay. Anything I'm worried about? Do we need food processor? Oh no, we're fine. Good. Okay, let's get this all cut. Into cubes. Magic cubing. And we're going to prep some bits here. So garlic we are going to crush. Um, ooh, it looks like we need two onions. Did I only pick one up? We need another onion, guys. Some sliced, some diced. So let's pop that down as well. And let's get started. We'll start with the sliced onion. And then... Let's go to diced and chop parsley. Okay, nice and easy. So now we're going to go over here and use the blender. We're going to put the ingredients down that we need. We do need some seasoning, so let me just stop that processor and move over here and grab the seasoning that we require. Okay, let's check what's needed. So it's missing a lot of salt. So we'll do two and see what see what's said. That's on its way. So once that's done, we'll make the meatballs and they can actually be put in the fridge, which is quite handy to know. Nothing else can be done, but that can be pre-prepared. Once that's done, we're going to cook them on the stove with the tomato sauce. So we'll get the sauté pan ready. This is the process we are going to do first. So quite simply, we put the meatballs down, or the mixture down, and we're going to make the meatballs. Looks like you make three. So pre-prepared three meals, probably. So if I was just to put these in the fridge now, I just want to have a look because I'm thinking about meals for later. Okay. So yes, you would need to prepare three meatballs per dish. Okay, let's pop this down. Let's look at what season's needed. Pepper and salt, probably. Yeah. Not enough black pepper. Perfect. Fantastic. So let's let that uh, cook down and we're going to add the tomato coulis, which looks more like sata to me. Can actually push up the heat strength on this. Looks like I do have a spare um did have a spare one all along. Let me just pop that back. Last but not least, let's add the parsley in. No stirring is required on this, which is a little bit odd. Oh 
Okay. Oh, wow. So that's now three dishes. The only issue is you can't put them on there. So. They would need to sit here. And anything that's on the heat lamps disappears in prep. So we definitely cannot prep that far. But we certainly could get three meals done really quickly. Okay, new recipe learned. Wonderful. So we now know how to cook meatballs quite comfortably. I wouldn't mind putting those on the main meal. Um, let's just go from left to right. Let's learn one more, shall we? So we've unlocked some new meal um, recipe. Blah, 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 blah. We've unlocked a new recipe and new ingredients, which is awesome. Okay. Now, what's quite interesting on the right-hand side, once you've mastered one version of this, you can then upgrade it a couple more times. So, oh, let me just go and pin. I'm going to unpin that one. And we are going to pin Bill Millais. Now, I cooked this one recently. So I kind of know-ish what I'm doing, which is handy. Um, and then I say that and I'll probably end up messing up anyway. So a couple of things that I like to get prepped and done and out of the way first. So I'm just going to pop these in the fridge. That's the veal and the lettuce leaves. The next thing I'm going to do is the parmesan breadcrumbs. Um, so we take this and the parmesan. Make the parmesan breadcrumbs. We do need some oregano for this one. this down and we make a stop but make sure to check the seasoning first let's just try one lot of dried oregano fantastic okay let's pop that back on whilst that's going on we're going to make the vinaigrette now the vinaigrette bleh, needs to be done here so we need the mustard the oil and i can't remember what the other one is Vinegar. So this is quite a nice simple vinaigrette that we're making here. So we'll just get mixing this up. Okay, really nice and simple. Next thing we need to do is a beaten egg. So we're just going to grab an egg and beat that egg. the veal so we jump on here we place all of these bits down i just need to go and grab the veal and flour for this so there's the flour and here's the veal i'm gonna grab the lettuce leaves while i'm over here so we're gonna make the salad in a moment as well so let's place all and get this breaded so from the flour to the beaten egg 
to the parmesan breadcrumbs. We're then going to make a little bit extra here. So we're going to need the tomatoes and the lemon. The lemon is to finish on the top. And the tomatoes is for the lettuce. So let's slice that up. And we're going to dice the tomatoes, not slice. And then we're just going to mix up the... Uh, the salad with the vinaigrette, so lettuce, tomato and the vinaigrette and then that can go and wait in the fridge and this dish here serves I think three the only reason I know this is because I've done this one very recently so you get three lots of salad pretty good I'm just going to pop this in here out of the way for now and we're keeping that one. But last but not least, we need to cook the veal. And this is pretty simple. I do need some more oil. And then we'll get started. So we season this with salt, I believe. Maybe some pepper? Salt. Okay, great. So we just need to wait until one side is cooked. So on the right hand side you can see where it, what level it's up to. And now we're going to flip it over just like we would a steak. And cook it on that side. Okay. And once that's done, we're going to plate it up with the salad and the lemon. And that's the dish done. Just really quite nice. Nice and it's a nice simple dish. And it's quite easy to pre-prep. Right. Take this over here. And that's it guys, we've learnt yet another recipe. So I think that will be it for this episode. In the next one we will look to learn a couple of new recipes again and level up our playing field. It would be nice if we earn a little bit more money, but in these early stages you don't earn too much, if I'm honest with you. It's not really part of the game. The game is more levelling up learning the recipes and also leveling up your team members and that's the biggest part of this game in the first instance then once you're a bit further along you can really start making some money on high quality food low cost ingredients which is still locally sourced because you end up buying buying bulk buying bulk is the key going forward but you can't buy bulk when you don't have that as an option and you don't have buying power. But from me, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, you know what to do, guys. You know what to do. Just hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to leave me a comment below just to let me know what you think. I appreciate your time in watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.